A 5G high-frequency environment is essential for creating realistic holograms or virtual reality content. The government and telecom providers promised to build a 5G high-frequency wireless network within three years. But has that promise been kept? Let's take a look. <laughs> Singer Kim Hyun-sik, who passed away more than three decades ago, makes an holographic appearance on stage. Another deceased singer, Yoo Jae-ha, who also died more than 30 years ago, stages an enrapturing performance. A big upgrade from sourcing old video files, these two performances were created using state-of-the-art laser holograms. Relying on high-resolution and AI technology, the revived singers in Hologram can even talk to their audience. But with the current internet speed, transmitting the video content is impossible. Investing in 5G 28 GHz base stations is essential in promoting such future-oriented industries, including holograms and autonomous driving, that rely heavily on telecom services. The nation's three major telecom providers promised to build 45,000 base stations, 15,000 each, within three years. The government ordered the construction of at least 4,500 bases, or 10 percent of the promised number. Has that promise been kept three years later? KBS has found that the telecom service providers have reported only some 2,000 base stations, fewer than half the number ordered by the government. Of those, 1,500 stations are yet to be completed. Although they are to be built jointly by the three telecom providers, the government says it will recognize them as all 4,500 stations that were initially required. 저희는 정말 눈 가리기 아웅이다 이렇게밖에 볼수 없을 것 같고 정말 5G 서비스가 5G로서 역할을 다할 수 있도록. The government has vowed stern measures such as withdrawing frequency waves unless the telecom providers complete all of their reported base stations by April.